Hey guys, welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. Uh, last episode, running through the tournament, we are now on Pegasus. About to start this battle, so let's do it. Goal is to get to Isis. Is there anybody else between Isis and Kaiba? I don't. No! Uh, okay, we're tossing here, because we're getting to the strong opponents. We really can't play no games anymore with these little butchy gas fusions like Zombie Warrior, so... We'll throw um dude out there. Oh, Pegasus, man. If only I could remember how to S-Tech. Pegasus can drop some good shit, though. Even on pals. The Megamorph, man. That would be nice. Okay, look at this motherfucker throwing out 2100. Alright, it's time to see... <laughs> Neptune, does Flame Cerberus have Pluto? We can't let Pegasus fusion, because he will utterly destroy me. So I've got two options here. Either go for the sure thing, the Flame Cerberus, or try and make the Crimson Sunbird? You know what? Fuck it. Let's YOLO this. Hell yeah. Fuck, what does Neptune beat? Oh my god. Mercury beats Sun. What beats Mercury? Oh my god. Mm. Fuck, I'm gonna YOLO it, dude. <gasps> no, dude! I'm an idiot! I had a 50-50 shot. Okay, so the way the algorithm works is... He didn't go ham this turn, but next turn, no matter what happens, I could get Regeki, wipe out his field... Okay, we're absolutely fucked. We're going to lose this duel. Um, Jupiter and Neptune. What the fuck beats Jupiter? Sorry, you see my mouse. Um, I was going to see if I have the little chart, but I don't... Oh, shit. That was weird. Um, we're fucked. We're going to lose this duel. 100%. Go with Flower Pooch. Not much I can do. Um, but yeah, even if we had got Twin of Thunder Dragon, if you kill one of his monsters and then still leave one on the field... Uh, damn, I don't have the advantage over either of these fucks. Um, he, then he would have fusioned or used Regeki himself. Okay, this is getting interesting. It's gonna be one of those duels. We can get the Thunder Penis here and things could start getting real interesting. We did, okay. Wait, so we want to make sure we don't play it in... No, we do want to play Pluto. It doesn't matter, either way, he's strong enough, but um, the fact remains. He now has a trap card there. Which he might use. He did, what is it? Fake trap, thank fucking god. But the problem is now he's gonna regeki or some shit. There it is. And we're dead. Damn! This is what happens, this is exactly what I was talking about with the algorithm. You leave something on their field, you're fucked. Because then they're gonna start placing traps and... It's gonna activate them to use all their shit. Damn, first L to Pegasus. Ah, uh, Yugi boy. Man. R.I.P. That's okay. That's okay. It was never supposed to be easy. Alright, yes. Let's continue. Well, good thing, because if I would have just whooped Pegasus and Isis' ass, this would have been a short episode, so... It's for the best. Perfect example of that algorithm shit, though. You start falling behind, you're gone. These duels, we really need to start being able to pull Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon right off rip. Because they just start so powerful. Ugh. Look at this, man. What do I got? Nekagal? Queen of Autumn Leaves? I got jack shit, dude. Ugh. Nekogal, I guess. Damn. 2k defense. Now, you know what? I'm gonna leave it in attack mode. Well, no, I'm not. Because what if he starts Paradragon?
What does he got? Fuck. Black shark again, yeah. He started at 2100 and I still got my ass whipped. That's what's... Okay, thank Jesus. See, we had to draw Thunder Dragon this turn in order to not have this duel go the same way because then we would have left something on his field. We got to leave his field empty. So now he won't use Regeki because he has an empty field. He'll only use Regeki at the start of a turn if you have something on the field and he has something on the field. Essentially. Alright, so best strategy here? I don't know. I don't think these make anything good. We're just gonna dump, keep fiery are you, and go to Urabi. And Urabi is gonna be bait. Oh shit. Oh thank god. The fucking meteor dragon dude? The little MBD? Yeah, we're just gonna go straight for the life points, let Urabi take the kill. So that he doesn't do any more face down bullshit. Yamadron, okay, we got him pretty low. We should be okay. This should be an easy W. Alright, we'll just do. Do we want to S POW or B POW? Well, I think it's a B POW anyway, because we fusioned so much and lost um, a little bit of life points, but I think I'm gonna throw a mountain down next turn anyway. At the risk of that just pissing Pegasus off and him going absolute Hamtaro. Hamtaro! Regeki would have been preferable, but hey. Life gives you lemons. What the fuck is this? Oh, Rude Kaiser? Okay. Anytime I see defense mode with Uranus, I think the shield, and I get scared. Because the shield is the bane of my existence. This should be B pal. See what we can get. C pal, little chimera. Ugh. Ugh. That's a beast though, no? Defeat can be bitter. Oh dear, my eye. Just got that thing ripped from your skull. You think you'd have more to say than my millennium eye? Alright, it's Isis time, boys. I think Kaiba is right after Isis. For sure he is, so this is going to have to be it. But I have a feeling we're going to run into some trouble here. I have no equip. Not too many dragons. Little Chimera. Okay, it's a good beast. We'll throw it in. Um, warriors. Yeah, we'll get rid of Dehuman. The Dehuman has served his purpose. And we're probably going to lose here. I mean, she's got Black Skull Dragon. It's just... It's not looking great, but we did draw Regeki off rip, so if she does BSD... Then we Regeki. We've got options. What's she going to do? Don't be moon, dude. Oh, it's Neptune, thank god. Roaring Ocean Snake. That is best possible outcome, because she could start Black Skull Dragon or THTD. So we're good. Well, not best possible outcome because I could have drawn the twin headed, but I didn't. But that's okay. We'll do Mammoth of Gold fine. As long as we don't put it in Mars. Now we know. Do not put Ma Neptune beats Mars. We know this now. We'll put it in Pluto. Get a little extra juice. Because I think she does have mostly waters. So it's mostly going to be Neptunes and Plutos. So Gold fine should be fine. What was the term we used when they just draw their strong cards out of nowhere? Backdoor? Yeah. If she would have backdoor to BSD, at, at any point that's going to piss me off. Or a twin headed. Especially because I got jack shit here. I'm, I'm running off my basic fusions here. The turtle. The big turtle. She got the big turtle. Alright. Isis, do not fuck me. Good girl. Alright. Dude, I'm not getting it. Um, that's okay. We'll do Flame Cerberus and then Geki next turn. Are you? Yeah, you have to B pow Isis for Dragon Treasure, huh? I think it's always B pow for the uh, for the equips. I don't think anybody drops equips on SA pow. Good ones. To get them to drop their. Well, they drop fields. 
because I know Rex has two field drops. He drops Mountain on SA and Wasteland on B. I think everybody's like that. They have field drops on SA and B, but I think they only drop their equips on B or lower. So, give me that Dragon Treasure, Isis. Campaign Dragon Treasure, baby. That has to be a B pal, right? All right, I'm going to cover the drop and make it a slow reveal. You guys will know right away, but I won't. Okay, it was a B pal. What did I get? Mina Mushi Warrior. Ugh. Disgusting. Give me your necklace, ho. There we go. Alright, so what are there? Seven Millennium items? Let's do the math here. We got the necklace. We got the eye. We got the scales. We got the key. We got the... The ring? Bakuras? And then we have our puzzle, Yugi's puzzle. So yeah, we're just missing the rod from Kaiba. So he is the next duel. Alright, we mathed our way out of that. Science, bitch. Alright, so we're gonna save, guys. That, you know what? It's only 11 minutes, I feel bad. I'll, we'll do some free duels. We'll do some free duels on screen. Um, we saved, right? Yeah, return to title. <sighs> See how many star chips we got. Dude, the bane of my existence is when you're doing a speedrun 32. I can't buy shit. I think I could buy another dragon maybe, but I'll do that off screen. Is when you haven't saved on a speedrun, you back out to this main menu to get passwords, and then you just... Fatal flaw in this game is how you could just press O, and then suddenly you're back at the main main menu. And if you haven't saved, you're SOL, dude. You're fucked. Okay, the ISIS grind begins. We need... Fuck, I'd like two equips from this girl, but man, I'd be lucky to get one. Oh, Minamushi is a rock? Okay. We can add that. We need more rocks for Mystical Sand. So we got rid of the Warriors. Let's get rid of the Machines, and then Urabi and Two-Headed are next to go. Deck's coming together, baby. Maybe we can do... We'll try to go for like two wins here. Alright, well there's my automatic B-Pow, but Umi... Ugh, I don't like using Umi against her because... You know what I'm gonna do? Because it powers up most of her shit too, but if I get twin-headed it won't matter. So I'm gonna save the Black Dragon Jungle King because he might get his ass waxed if she starts strong, so let's just... Play the bait. See what she started with. Aqua Dragon. Yep. Well, Black Dragon has Pluto, right? So he would have been fine. Perfect. There's Mountain. Okay, great. So, we're going to do... We're going to toss Umi and do Black Dragon, Jungle King, and Pluto. And he should be fine. Should be fine. He does not have Pluto. Okay. That was a colossal fuck-up on my part. We may now feel the wrath of Isis. The good thing is she doesn't have too many magics, I don't think, crazy magics, but she does have strong shit, so she will kill us fast if I don't draw something good here. Oh, dear lord. I think we're dead. No, she's not going to kill us this turn, but I'm going to toss the mountain because we are going straight into survival mode here. We're tossing everything. A beast is not going to help me. I need twin-headed. It's twin-headed or bust. This is not good. Defense mode? What the fuck is that? It's gotta be a turtle. Big turtle, maybe? Hmm. Okay, we got the twin headed. <clears throat> I'm gonna keep the gold fine fusion, because 2200 should serve me well against these fucks. The problem is I need Geki to empty out her side of the field, otherwise it's just going to take too long. I think she still can Geki. Almost everybody can. If she does, this duel is over. Spellbinding Circle. That's still oh, only 500? Okay. Damn, I thought Spellbinding was 1,000. Alright, we need to keep tossing because this shit is not okay. 
Hopefully me tossing all this shit doesn't make some weird fusion. God damn it. Okay, that still works. Perfect. Great. Uh, he has Pluto. Amazing. Alright, so this might be Big Turtle, so... Yep. Kill him. Alright, and now we should be good. Unless she doesn't backdoor something. Duels like this, though, things go off the chains. You never know where the algorithm's at, man. She could backdoor anything. It's all over the place. You gotta be in control from fucking day one. Alright. Flower Pooch. Well, this is definitely a B-Pow. This is probably a fucking D-Pow, to be honest. It's not looking great. The good thing is Gold Finance Pluto. I did not know that. That makes him very much more valuable. Making me rethink in the, getting the zombies out the deck. Okay. No backdoor Black Skull. And we should be fine. Roaring Ocean Snake. Alright, we're good. We won. That was sketchy. Fuck it. Just because you spellbound me, you bitch. How does it feel? Alright, that's a definite C or D pow for sure. But let's see what we got. I'm gonna cover it. I like the suspense. C pow. Oh shit! I didn't cover it enough and I saw Dragon at the end, so I immediately looked. Alright, Blackland Fire Dragon, that's a big win. The dragon has to be over, over 1,600. 16 or over for it to count as like an automatic um, fusion with a thunder straight to twin-headed. So this guy still needs the fusion with a plant or whatever to make twin-headed, but still. In a pinch, 1,500 attack? You never know. Alright, we got our mountain, but we both know we need twin-headed off-rip. So we're gonna just make Pumpkin and does Pumpkin have oh fuck I fucked up I fucked up Oh shit Alright boys Not ideal And Mountain will power that fucker up He's Moon. Does Moon beat Sun or Sun beats Moon? Mmm. Fuck, I can't remember. Because if Sun beats Moon, I could top him with THTD. But I think Moon beats Sun because Sun beats Mercury, right? Either way, we're just praying for the Geki here. Yeah, because I don't remember anything really being able to top Black Skull off the... without an equip or something, so... Let's see. Hmm. Well... No time like the present to experiment, right? Let's find out, right here, right now. Pretty sure Moon beats Sun, I'm almost positive. You know what it does because blue eyes, blue eyes. Oh, we both have moon. Okay, shit. I thought twin headed at sun for some reason. Um, <clears throat> blue eyes has sun, so blue eyes with Kaiba can always top your uh, twin headed, even with an equip or a field. So, yeah, this duel is gone. We're done, dude. Geki is literally the only way, and she's got... See, it's times like these where Dank Hole actually can serve a purpose. They start loading up that bottom row, dude. And you just need everything off the field. You just want to wipe the slate clean. <clears throat> oh my god, and she started actually high, too. We need Geki, and then we need to pray that those aren't all spellbinding circles down there. Thank the lord. She's gonna fusion, though. The question is, what will she make? I didn't even see if I got THTD, but we were going to die, so I had to. She's going to put another one. Okay, they're all three magics, so they're probably spell bindings. We're going to throw Crimson Sunbird out. Hopefully she just uses them on... We'll use uh, Crimson as bait. 
and hopefully she just used all the spell bindings on this guy. She can't top 2300 right now anyway, so she's gonna have to if she wants to have a chance. Swords of Revealing Light, that is worse. I forgot about that shit. And the spell binding. Okay, well at least we baited those out. Another Aqua Dragon. Damn! She's being a fucking cuck lord. Okay. We're gonna twin headed just so she doesn't kill us. And we just gotta pray. We gotta pray the gay away. Oh man, I can't be tossing. I'm too um too low on cards. She's already got me. That's probably another Swords of Revealing Light down there too. I'm gonna deck out, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna deck out. Loss via deck out. What a way to end the episode. Dear Lord. That's okay. We got Pluto. We'll still get over her monsters. Um. I'm gonna just use Umi to kill a turn. It'll power up both of our stuff. We'll be fine. And then I'm going to wait on my twin headed in case she's got another spell binding down there. Oh shit. She backdoored a second black skull dragon. We can still survive. Believe it or not. Shit. Maybe not this way. Alright, I'm gonna have to use the crazy fusion here, but we can get over her black skull. Black skull. Alright, unless she has a spell binding, we should be okay. The question is can we win? And I don't know if we can didn't get a zombie god damn it we're gonna have to play this super safe strats kill this fuckhead first and then bait her other monsters into attacking the defense mode monster take her life points down slowly if she has another swords though we might be goners fuck yeah we're done man got six cards left. Dude, we might be able to eke this out, but it is not likely. She has 5,600? No, I'm not gonna. <clears throat> mm. This is not looking good. One more turn of swords. Fairy of the Fountain, okay. That's good, she's weaker. Alright, Minamushi, do your thing, chicken wing. Alright, good. Attack with him. Great. <clears throat> Want her to attack with her weakest monsters. If I win a duel where she swords me twice, spellbound me twice, and had two black skull dragons, that would be a fucking miracle. But I only have two cards left. I don't think we can kill her fast enough. This will do a lot of damage, though. 1,700. She's still got 3,900 left. I don't think I can kill her in two turns. Fuck. That definitely doesn't help. but it's still not impossible. Because I do have the bonus. Damn, that's only 800, I really needed that. No, we can't kill her, we're gonna lose. <clears> hmm, <throat> 1900? No, we're gonna lose. We'd have to kill her this turn, we're gonna deck out. God damn it, if I had done one less fucking card dump, we could have won. 
1700. Damn, I could do that in one turn with how low she is. This is tragic. No, I couldn't have done it in one turn. It would have needed to be two more. Two less cards I could have dumped. Damn. That is sad. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I'm going to maybe change in my starships for another Dragon or Thunder. We'll see, but end of the day, in order to compete with Isis on a consistent level, we need an equip, so I'm going to have to get it from her. So I will see you guys then. Peace out, everybody.